Now, what's really remarkable about DeepSeek's approach, called multi-head latent attention, is that they were able to reduce the needed KV cache size by a factor of 57, while actually improving performance. The key insight is a novel application of a very common idea in machine learning, a latent space. What if the model could learn to efficiently compress its own keys and values? Multi-head latent attention effectively adds an extra step between each attention head's input and the key and value matrices. The idea is to project our input into a compressed latent space that is shared across all attention heads in a given block. In multi-head latent attention, the compressed latent space is projected back up to keys and value matrices using another set of learned weights, WUK and WUV where the weights are unique to each attention head. Now, at face value, since we've introduced a new matrix multiply, it appears that we've just traded some memory bandwidth for additional compute. And after all, the entire point of KV caching was to reduce the high compute needs of attention blocks. However, as the DeepSeq team points out, with some clever linear algebra, we can rearrange our query computation to absorb the WUK weights, and rearrange our final output computation to absorb the WUV weights. Since all these weights are fixed at training time, we only have to compute the absorbed weights once and can avoid any additional compute during inference. 